Entire Appalachian Trail in 2019 with it. They had some issues with the seams. I will say that, but they still didn't leak. It was a seam tape. I went into REI. Love REI. They swapped it out. Says here, you're under 12 months. We'll just swap it for a brand new one. Love REI. Go with them. All right. That was said. So here's the tent. I'm gonna set it up. Just so everybody get an idea of what it's like to set up. They do make lighter models, but. I don't go with the lighter models because I need the heavier gauge material for pups' claws. And Big Agnes, when I called them, they said they'd still warranty this model with the claws. So, good to go. I want to say this vestibule area right here, this footprint, I added that on. That's not factory. Um, I, I like clean entrance coming in and out, so I added that. So here we go. Find your front. Be careful when you're putting these together because you can actually bend and fray the ends and you don't want to do that. So take your time putting them together and pulling them apart. Don't try to rip them apart. Ultra light is not ultra strong. But I have gone through some serious, serious winds with this model. Uh, I just hook it to the back of the footprint too. Just hold the footprint in place. Spots here. Same thing in the front corner. I just loop it in right there. I usually push down hard and I come over. But this is always a tricky because if you, if you bend it, the whole thing will fly over. So step right on your material while you bend your bow. And then go down and connect right into here. Again, right on your footprint. That holds it pretty steady. The life is awesome. I'm start from the back and work my way forward. Flip right here. In right here. I flip in right there. Flip in right there. We're pulling the fabric forward. Keep that in mind when we're doing this. Forward, hook here. Hook here. Here and here. Life is good. Look at that. Boom. So basically right there are your uh, semi-freestanding tent, and if you want to use this in a shelter, um, don't do that if there's other people in the shelter, it's rude. But if you're on your own, you want a bug tent, and you don't have anything to peg to, just take your trek pole, open it up with your glove on the end of it, and put it in the back of your uh, tent right here, on the inside, you'll spread this right out, and you're good to go, and you've got a freestanding uh, bug tent to chill out in. That takes care of all that. Real quick. I have a little bit of breath room left, and I need to treat this for 2020, so we're going to do that right now. And how I do it, I spray right down the bathtub. I'm going to spray my vestibule area where all the bugs bother me. And I'm going to go right down the outer edge of the bathtub. Right like that. And that's it. Believe it or not, there, there, good enough. We're done. So we've just completely... I just completely treated that for six weeks. I do it every four, but for six weeks, I just treated that. Yeah. Go into the rain fly. Find your front. Okay. There's a lot of steps in here that get overlooked, so I want to hit those right now. First thing you should do is in the dead middle, there's a little piece of Velcro. It makes a big difference. It holds your fly in place. Hook it in the middle, like so, and you're coming down. You're going to see an inner hook right here. Hook this on the middle right here. We'll see in a minute why that's important. Come down the side, like so. Put in right here. Just a little buckle. Wife is good. Come to the back side. Right in the middle, you'll have another buckle. Put it down like that. Again, on the side, you're going to have Another little clip right here, hook it on the inside of the loop, plug net, that's done, that's good. Here, got a buckle right here, buckle clip in right there, we got some tent pegs right here, we take these out. That's your repair link. If you don't know what that's for, that's your repair link. So if your pole snaps, you can slide that over there, save you in the woods. Pack it out, you need it. OK, 
Okay. So there's a lot of failure that takes place with setting up the pegs. What you want to do is you want to always pull back, and then at 45, and then peg. Always do the ends first, so the back end and the front end. Come to the other corner, grab your fly, and you grab your um, bathtub at the same time, head together, grab your footprint, and this, go all the way this way, and 45 back. Boom, that's done. That's a tight tent, believe it or not. Come over here, you come to the front, pull all the way to the front. 45 it. Done. Peg is done. All the way over to here. There's two strings. You've got your bathtub and you got your footprint. Grab them together. Again, all the way over and 45. Peg tight. That tent is tight right now. Okay. On the sides, you're going to have a rain fly. <coughs> On the rain fly, you got a hook. A hook down to the bathtub. Works real good. Boom. That's done. This is adjustable, don't cut it down because you're going to areas where you're going to wish you hadn't. So right now I'm not going to open it up, so we're just going to peg it. Boom, that's done. And this is where you might need adjustments. Always need adjustments. Again, hook, hook it down to the bathtub, don't skip these steps. Okay, peg it out, done. Now we're going to look for any type of loose material on the fly. Right back here we got loose material. I'm going to unpeg this corner. I'm going to 45, and I just took up all that slack. All right, rain fly is done for the tent. We're going to hit the vestibule. Vestibule coming up. Here's another fail area. One peg. Two peg. And believe me, when I say fail, I mean me. I failed. That's how I know how to do it now. Grab both together. Pull them out nice and tight. The material can take it. Don't worry. You're going to do that. Don't worry. Everybody does it. Take them down in tight. Look at that. It's important to have that rain fly tight because if that rain fly touches that screen or that bathtub, you're going to get wet inside your tent. Don't do that. So you need to have it nice and tight. That's how you want this. Now comes a really cool part. So like you said, you have the hook. You to fly to the inner screen. Right here, you've got... I should have untied this. I'm sorry. I haven't had this out of the package. Here we go. Okay. So now we have this spreads out the tail. This is awesome. So that little pole, I'm sure you can see that. That little pole opens up the whole center area of that tent. It's beautiful. It literally doubles the interior. Same thing on this side. Over here. I'm gonna skip that because that knot's a little crazy right now. Oh wait, I got it. All done. Okay. So pull this out. Peg it down. Boom. Done. This tent is set up. You're going to adjust it right here. So if you didn't peg it tight or you need to get away from root or stone, you're good. You come into here. Vestibule area is set up. I got to add some string onto here. That's coming up next. I haven't done that yet. I want to show everybody how quick and easy and wonderful these tents are. And when I say roomy, I mean roomy. Here we go. I'm a six foot, 230 pound beam right now. Put my feet all the way to the bottom. And I can stretch right out. Two people are in here, no problem. Pup and I get in here with my backpack, with my boots, and we have a little room to spare. All right, so on the final setup, with what we were after, as I was saying before, one nice, nice, tight, tight fly. So as you can see, I'm really trying to go detail here for everybody. There's all kinds of air space. You know, we got about three inches between the fly itself and the bathtub. That's what you want. You want that bathtub to be pulled right out. That way the rain can literally just fall out over here and nothing's gonna get in between your tent because there's not much you got your seam right here you don't want any water getting that area it will get in your tent so if you're getting wet inside your tent more than likely that's the cause tighten up your fly just grab your pegs take up the slack and to give you a really bird's eye view of what I was doing 
Ooh, that's tight. You know, grab that a 45 as tight as you can and peg it in. And be careful, you'll hurt your hand with that. That's why I like wearing gloves when I do this. I always use my foot to finish. And in the morning, when I pull my pegs out, my gloves are always on because that V-groove, I take my thumb and I'll slide it right through that V-groove with the glove on. My hands stay clean, the pegs are clean, you're not packing out dirt. Dirt's heavy. So, I wanted to show you the side strings here. So this is the, the peg for the side string for the side of the actual tent right here. Okay, that pulls out. We're going to go inside to show the difference that does right now. Inside the tent. Heading on in. Gonna go in. So, in here hopefully you can see. And you can see right here, those two pegs that you hook from your fly. It is immense amount of space. I mean, it opens it right up. You know, it's like a, I want to say 28 inches space right there. So before it'd be straight down like this, pulls it right out. Gives you lots of headroom up in here. And uh, in this model, I use it all the time. So you got, side pouch is right here you got top pouch up front another side pouch here and uh, that gives you a nice little spot gadgets gadgets telephone you know whatever you want to throw there for the night so that takes care of that again we're gonna go back outside always keep your tent closed that keeps the bugs out so the fly you can keep opened up this you can roll up right here real quick and there's a little knob on the inside after you roll it up there's a loop you just put it through the loop now keep that open you can have nice airflow here's a cool trick too so winter sleeping sleep on this side of the tent there's no ventilation see that summertime kicks around switch to the other side because this side has ventilation all right usually in winter i'll take like my rain suit and i'll hold it over this to get rid of that little bit of draft it makes all the difference in the world so speaking of winter hiking this is a three season, not a four season. Here comes the butt. So Big Agnes created this with pull straps for adjusting. So you can actually torque this right down. I'll try to do this, set the phone here. So pull down on your fly and up with the strap. Don't just pull this, pull down with the fly, pull up on the strap, okay? And so once you got this step done, we're gonna come back around over here. We're going right back to here. And the back of it has the same thing. If I can't get my phone to stand up again, do my best. Oh my goodness, I don't know if it's gonna stay. Oh, no, it's not. What we're after here, same step, pull down and then pull up on the strap. Don't just pull up, You're, it's not gonna work like that. So pull down on the tarp, the rain fly, and then pull up on the strap in that series. And then if you can too, while you're in this spot, always check your tent, make sure to wiggle this pole loose. So that way you get rid of any tension on the tent. And this is the back, okay? So that's that zone, come around to the front. Do the same thing on this one right here. And this will get rid of any flapping too. So pull down, okay, on the fly, up on the strap. That'll tighten up the tent. And the closer you get this fly all the way to the ground, the less draft you're gonna have in that tent, okay? So that's set, now we'll go to the storm. So I have been through some severe storms with this. And right here on the side, we got our storm straps right here. This one and this one. And this side right here, I got the peg. So you go all the way down right here. That's pegged down, there's your adjuster. On this side here, I actually use my trekking poles on trail. That's how I do it, so that way I can get rid of two pegs in my tent to lighten my tent a little bit. So that's hooked all the way down the bottom again. There's your adjuster, you can pull that, tighten it up. And I've had this tent through some severe storms in the whites. And let me tell you what, this back part can just about fold to the ground and it'll still stay strong. I can't believe I survived that storm. Set those aside. Start on the fly. Throw the fly up. Put your bottom 
bathtub hook, you got your screen hook, you got your velcro, you got your back hook, that's all set. And your screen hook, bathtub hook, you got one more to put right here. That's all set and done. screen hooks. Life is good. I found rolling your thumb works real good on that. That's off of there. That's all good. I'll pop up right here. I'm gonna keep my foot on the material so it doesn't fly away. Pop up. Have to jiggle off. Be real careful in this step. You damage your poles when doing this step. So real careful pulling them apart. Okay? Real gentle. You don't want them slamming together like that because it will bend all the ends. You won't be able to get it together. Nice and gentle. Take care of your home. This is your home. That's all set. Just put it. Get that there. Perfect timing. It's raining. It's not starting to rain, Like this. Generate the fly. All I do. Spread it out a little bit. Go right in the middle. Done. Hold in. About halfway. Hold in. Hold in. Here comes the rain. Hold in. Hold in. Try to get as much air out in this step right here as you can. Air out. Hold in half. Pretty good. Here's the whole tent. We have our poles. Little poles right there, like that. Take your pegs. It's always good to count your pegs at this step. Make sure that you got all your pegs you need. I usually write the number of pegs right on my little peg bag. That goes right there, like that. Always good to look around. Sometimes I forget to throw my fly inside the tent. Roll it right up. Okay. That's good. Get some more air to deal with. No big deal. Just push out. Notice I'm not dealing with any cords or any straps or anything. That's all tucked away. Get a beautiful little wrap. Keep in mind my all my poles are not touching the fabric. I don't have to worry about my fabric. Sometimes it's tricky getting in the bag, sometimes it's not. Turn it in like a screw, it usually goes pretty quick. There you have that. You can cut that tag off. Big Agnes doesn't care for you. anymore I used to but now the sole fact what I do is I'll keep it like this and I'll stuff it in the outside of my backpack that way I'm chilling down in the middle of the day nice area I can set this down I can have a little picnic bag it's great and you got your two tracking poles you can put in two corners that's usually all you need for the wind so that works great so that settles the setup functionality and the tear down of the fly crate hv ul2 like i said i use it in my full through hike in 2019 i love the tent i did have issues with it with the seam tape but rei had no problem with it and the manufacturer they would have covered it in warranty it's a lifetime warranty anyways i'm not saying this is everybody's tent i just want to show the basic fundamentalities of how to set up the tent the functions of the tent the proper double checking, making sure that rain can't get in your tent, and tearing down and packing up. So I hope you've enjoyed this. In the meantime, hike your hike.